Llamas could hold the key to a possible breakthrough new drug for COVID. Scientists in San Diego and Pittsburgh are working on it right now. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why this treatment might be ideal for the next generation of COVID variants. This is Wally the Llama, and if a new series of experiments are right, molecules in his blood are capable of treating every known COVID variant, including Omicron, plus 18 other viruses in the same family. Not just binds everything, all the SARS like 20, 23 different strains, but also they inhibit the virus such like SARS-1, SARS-2 and the variants very potently. So we need, just need a minute amount to be able to neutralize a large um, uh, amount of viruses. And that's really critical. Dr. Yi Shi at the University of Pittsburgh started by vaccinating Wally for COVID eight times so his immune system could get to work. It turns out llamas and camels produce unusually shaped antibodies. They're configured in a way that lets scientists trim them down really small into what are called nanobodies, shown in purple. It's 10 times smaller than conventional human antibodies. The smaller size and gives it an, an opportunity to get into sort of more, more recesses, nooks and crannies on the virus surface. Co-author Dr. Ian Wilson at Scripps Research in La Jolla says that feature might help future-proof nanobodies against new mutations in the virus. In a new paper, the researchers discovered that by vaccinating Wally over and over, the shape of his antibodies started to morph, and he got protection against more and more viruses. And now doctors think they can harness that for humans. Because it's broadly uh, neutralizing activities, it will be most likely uh, useful and uh, effective against the future variants and future outbreaks by SARS-like viruses which will happen with high probability, in my opinion. In some ways, nanobodies work just like the traditional monoclonal antibodies that are already out there. They stick to a virus and block it. But traditional antibodies have to be given as an IV infusion or a shot, and they're much more expensive to make. Nanobodies are more stable, so they can be administered with an inhaler or a spray, targeting the drug to the upper respiratory system where it's needed most. The nanobodies are I mean, they've been around for a long time, but they've been, they're relatively due for actually beginning approval by the FDA. The FDA approved the first llama nanobody drug in 2019 for a rare blood disorder. And since then, several labs have been trying to be the first to create a nanobody drug for COVID. We really have to prepare ahead to develop more broader uh, you know, uh, therapeutics. Dr. Shi says these nanobodies could be a useful drug to stockpile for the future with the coronavirus expected to become endemic. And it's all thanks to Wally. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Wally looks pretty happy. The team is hoping to get their drug into clinical trials soon, but that means it is still at least six months to a year or more away from reaching the market. What an interesting study.